Happy News Day, oil traders. So it turns out that EIA was bullish. It is still August 23rd. It's 4.08 or 4.09 p.m. So it's just about 10 minutes after trading has closed here on the East Coast in North America. And the news was relatively bullish. Um, it was a smaller drop in supplies than expected on crude, but gasoline stocks dropped more than expected. Hence the somewhat bullishness. Um, we did climb. Uh, over 1%, almost 1.5% at one point, um, but settled a little bit lower at 48.38, which happens to be exactly where I purchased because I purchased in the last, I don't know, 30 seconds of trading here. Um, so what happened? I Before news came out, I put in my short buy order at 48.50 ahead of news. Um, and uh, because the result of the news was really not very dramatic at all, um, I ended up uh, just leaving it there for the time being. Um, then in the afternoon session, uh, we started to make a move. And uh, I started to think that might make a rapid climb, rapid spike up to 48.90 or closer to 49. So I temporarily canceled that uh, buy order on the short on the HOD ETF um, to avoid that sudden spike and just wanted to let it settle. Unfortunately, of course, um, we just touched 48.50 or 48.49. It was actually the, the the same price that I had in for my HOD price um, at 11.27 uh, was the HOD price. Um, but uh, we only touched it and then pulled back and uh, pulled back and pulled back and we never got that high again. Um, so I put I slowly kind of readjusted my buy order on the short downward um, from 48.50 to 48.47 48.45 and ultimately bought in the last literally the last seconds of trading at 48.38 which is where we closed um, and we're still holding there right now so um, I'm, ha I'm perfectly happy with that price um, I kind of wanted to uh, pad my ego a little bit and buy at a little better price than I had bought um, the last time I ha held this uh, short position um, which was uh, roughly at 48.50. So that's kind of where I wanted to be again, but it just didn't pan out today. Um, I, th I still think it was a smart play to to avoid that uh, possibility of the spike. Um, and I'm perfectly happy with the 48.38 price. Um, anything above 48 really was, was good enough, um, so to speak. So yeah, that's kind of what happened for me. Um, you can check out my updated portfolio on my tradingjournal.ca account, um, which I can show you right here. So you can see the latest um, edition, it's eight minutes old here. And uh, let me know what you guys did. Um, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on portfolio trades and charts. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys uh, tomorrow morning ahead of markets open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Until then, good luck and cheers.